So hello and welcome to Siegecraft, a black few stand men normal in the Siege of Ogrimmar raid. And for this fight, you want to bring two tanks, two to three healers. I would recommend two. It's not that difficult. And a mix of DPS. DPS with high on-demand burst are slightly better because of the conveyor belt mechanic, which I'm going to talk about a bit later. But first, let's talk about the automatic shredders. These will join black fuse throughout the entire fight, and they have something called reactive armor, basically reducing all damage taken by 80%. But they also take damage from all the abilities Black Fuse does. Okay, so they will take damage from all the environmental damage going on. Next, they will do something called Death from Above. They will just leap into the air and after a couple of seconds they will land, dealing 500,000 damage to everyone within 15 yards of the impact zone. So get away from that, it really fucking hurts. And the last thing they will do is called Overload. They will overload, deal 200,000 damage to everyone in the raid, but they will ignore people on the conveyor belt, so only people in the circular arena. And after that, they will have their damage dealt increased by 30%. So this is kind of like an rage mechanic, so the more overloads they cast, the more damage you know they will do with the next overload. So you kind of have to deal with them, but you should not switch your damage to them. You deal with them in a different way, and I'm going to tell you how, because I'm awesome. And these shredders are actually going to be killed by our tanks. You see, the tank debuff on this fight is called Electrostatic Charge. Black Fuse will charge his target, inflicting around 250k nature damage, and it will leave a debuff on the tank. This will increase damage taken from this ability by 100%, but it will also increase your damage dealt to the shredders by 200%, and this effect stacks 10 times. So as soon as you tank swap, the tank with the debuff needs to go and basically kill the shredder by you know attacking him and doing as much damage as he can, but also by kiting him into the environmental damage and into the other abilities that Black Fuse does throughout the entire fight. One thing to watch out for though is if one of these shredders is within 35 yards of Black Fuse, that shredder will get healed for 5% of its maximum health every 3 seconds. Okay, they will connect with the repair beam and it sucks, so don't do that, be careful. And just kite them away from Black Fuse if possible. Now let's talk about the abilities Black Fuse will do throughout the fight. First one is called Launch Saw Blade. You'll basically throw Saw Blade at the random player's location, and you have a couple of seconds to actually adjust where the Saw Blade will land. Okay, so when it announces, you have, I don't know, two, three seconds to move out of the ray because these Saw Blades do between 400,000 and 500,000 physical damage, so they really hurt. And this is the primary ability because the Saw Blades stay there. This is the primary ability that will help you kill the Shredders. And how we dealt with this, we try to stay grouped up and place as many of these saw blades in one spot as possible so that when we kite the shredder into them, or our tank did, the shredder died almost instantly. It will just eat through his health like nobody's business, okay? So just try and get as many of these saw blades in one spot as possible because it's really gonna help you. Now let's talk about the conveyor belt mechanic or the assembly line as it's called. Now, every now and then, three weapons will be sent onto the conveyor belt. You get onto the conveyor belt by jumping into the pipes to, on the left side of the conveyor belt. And you'll get transported there, and there are these lasers. If they hit you, they do around 500,000 damage, so yeah, don't. <laughs> it really hurts, you're probably gonna die. So you get there, the conveyor belt is constantly moving, and these three weapons will start coming towards you. You have a certain amount of time where you can destroy one of these weapons. Once you destroy one of them, the other two will get shielded and you can't destroy them. But if you fail to destroy at least one, Black Fuse will get a 20 second shield that reduces his damage taken by 90%. So you don't want that to happen. It can, on normal mode, you can allow this to happen twice, but that also means you have all three weapons active and they are burning your ass. <laughs> okay, they're murdering you, they're doing unnecessary damage, and you can't really do damage to the boss, so that's pretty annoying. One more thing, when you come out of the conveyor belt, or when you're gripped by the boss back onto the main platform, you will get a mini debuff, which means you can't go onto the conveyor belt. Okay, so someone else has to do it. Now let's talk about the weapons and the turrets and everything you can encounter on the assembly line and what they will do if they manage to get through. So the first one is shockwave missile turret. This will fire off a huge drill that will drill into the ground in the main room and after a short delay rings will start expanding from this drill. Okay, so it will be a small circle then it will be small ring, a bigger ring, the slightly bigger ring and then the huge ring. 
This is indicated on the ground, but the bigger the rings get, the more inaccurate <laughs> the actual indication is. So be careful and stand, you know, a few more yards away from it. Don't stand like a yard away, <laughs> one yard away from it, because it's probably gonna kill you. These do 500,000 damage. <laughs> okay, so it will indicate a ring on the ground and after a while a lot of drills will burst out of the ground and do just a shit ton of damage So don't stand anywhere near that. It's actually one of the really good ways to deal with um, the shredders, but It can also kill your tank or you know hit him really hard But with a small defensive cooldown they can survive that so it's probably worth it to kite the shredders onto these rings the next on the list is laser turret, and this will basically just hit ground with a laser, surprise, and it will leave a fire behind. This fire will do around 35k fire damage every second for 7 seconds, and can stack up to 20 times. And this is really annoying, because it just leaves fire everywhere, and you're taking ticking damage from it. But it's also a fairly good way to deal with the shredders, but I don't think it's as good as the actual saw blades. I still like the saw blades. Saw blades are cool. So don't stand in that. Next is the crawler mine bundle, whatever you want to call it. And once this goes through, small crawler mines will start appearing from the conveyor belt. Okay? They will fix it on random people. They don't have too much health, but they will fix it on random people. And if they catch up with them, they will self-destruct and do between 200 and 250,000 fire damage to everyone and knock them up into the air. You can stun and root these and, you know, just all the good stuff, stun, roots, you know, slows and stuff like that, but only for one minute. After one minute has passed and one crawler mine is still alive, okay, so if it spawns and it runs around for a minute, it will become immune to everything, except damage obviously, and it will increase its movement speed by quite a bit. So we had me, myself, as a balanced route because I can slow them down and I can also root them. And the last thing is called Electromagnet. When this goes through the conveyor belt, it will start pulling everything in the room towards it. It will do around 30,000 physical damage every second. And this will also pull the saw blades, okay? The saw blades will just zoom towards the magnet and they will still do their damage on the way. So don't stand in between the magnet and the saw blade like me. Don't be a dummy, don't get hit by them. And this might sound awesome, you know, it clears you the entire room and there's a lot of space again, but the saw blades are not that big. They're not that big of a deal and they help you so much with the shredders that you might actually want to focus down this weapon when it comes onto the conveyor belt. You can actually destroy it, you have the choice between this and the other two weapons. You might want to focus down this one because even though it clears the room, the room is clear and suddenly there is nothing to kill the shredders with and it might be really annoying so I would actually recommend to focus down this one and then probably either the laser turret because it leaves fire on the ground or the crawler mine so you don't have to deal with them you can nuke down the boss so electromagnet and then either laser turret or crawler mines depending on what you want to do and that's it for the abilities this boss is not that difficult if you're doing everything correctly you know you're managing the shredders and you know your tank is kiting them into the saw blades and into all the other abilities you were dealing with the crawler mines, you know, you're not standing in shit and you're sending people onto the conveyor belt, it's gonna be fine. It's not that difficult. It took us, I don't know, this is our third try and we killed it, so like three tries. It's not that hard. You just have to do everything kinda okay-ish. You don't have to do it perfectly. We had the shield pop up, I think, once or twice on him even, and it was fine, okay? The DPS requirement for this fight is fairly low, his health is... he has no health, he dies so bloody fast. So yeah, just deal with the abilities, don't stand in shit, and you're gonna kill it. And once again, I thank you all for watching, I wish you good luck, I hope this guide was helpful, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.